Hi, in this series of video demonstrations we're going to be using Fusion 360 to create moving models of our mechanical design ideas. In this final video we're going to put the finishing touches to our assembly and render our finished model. To complete our model first we need to assemble the final components using the same process as shown in the previous video. Carefully assembling our pins in place and then our linkage onto each pin. So we put our second pin in place there now. And we're going to put our final assembly joint rotating around that pin. Once assembled, we have our moving mechanical model of our punch. create our presentation image we're going to go to the render window so we'll go up to here click on render first we need to choose the appearance of the materials we want so click on appearance and we'll get our library of materials here I've already assigned some materials to this model if we want to change it or add some new ones we've got our library we can browse through down here a wide range of materials already set up to add a material appearance to a component simply drag that material onto our component. Next we're going to set up our lighting environment for our model. On here we can individually set the lighting levels, the amount of shadow or reflection on each surface, or to make life easier we can just select a preset environment. I'm going to use the softer rim highlights environment. Once we're happy to render, we can click on the render button. We can either choose to render locally or a cloud render. Now the difference is, obviously a cloud render will be using the processing power elsewhere and not using up the um, processor on your computer. So it means you can get on with other tasks. So we're going to cloud render. It'll tell you roughly how long it'll take and then it will pop up on this bottom screen when it's ready. If we look at one that already has been rendered, you can see a much more fine render of all the materials and highlights. You can see the dimples there in the casting. We can then download that as an image so let's save that as perspective one. And we have our image that we can use in our portfolio.